my friends. So this morning I was in for a beautiful surprise when I opened my doors and then I realized there was one who had the keys to the door. So my mother said, you have to get in. And my door will get to that area. I also found one full of your day. So I think there was a lot of uh, security in the water and a lot of floating days happening. And it was in the water in the flat end that the fish that inside this created a lot of water. So another problem with this water filter is that the L5 where the water goes into the uh, sun pack is over here. And from here, there's only a, a little amount of depth that allows for the solids to settle down. Plus, if you notice this particular rain out pipe, that is at this level. So from here to here, the, the distance around 1 inch in the bottom, water doesn't get collected or drained out. Therefore, there's a lot of solids getting accumulated there. The new design that I'll be making will have this outlet coming from the bottom. So, when it comes from the bottom of the fish tank, and the inside fitting will be chopped off so that all the solid waste you know, goes directly into that and there's nothing at all to uh, you know, feel it in the surface. So that's one of the key learnings from this. Uh... So this current solar filter is connected uh, with two inlets, one from here and the other one from this side. Now this particular inlet ha has a T over, the, over there and that has got another pipe that's going all the way to the bottom and another T which has got, which got two pipes sticking from both sides and a lot of holes in there and that kind of brings in all the water from the bottom takes it up brings it through this into this now this particular uh, inlet also has a similar kind of a T that with a pipe going to the bottom but i had removed that for a few weeks uh, because i wanted there was a lot of uh, floating waste in this uh, you know so that that floating waste we can go through this and get in so i think the fish came in through that so i'm going to be cleaning uh, this first filter today and removing the tilapia from this moving some of the tilapia from here to my upstairs tank because there's a lot of solid waste here and till that kind of gets filtered into the grow beds and moved out I want to reduce the population of uh, some of the tilapia in this tank so this first filter is a little difficult to maintain and uh, because uh, the first thing is when you open them this with a really small uh, you know, uh, opening. So trying to put your hand in to reach something is uh, you know, very difficult. And uh, since the fish was already in here, I had to get this thing out. So here's where I'll show you the problem. So I have to dry out the L that is floating there and take this small uh, center guard out. And you know, then try and you know, catch the fish. The other problem, the fishing net didn't really go in. So I had to, uh, you know, kind of. Bend the thing. And then you get in. And to get the, the fish out. So that's what went wrong with this swirl filter. So please do remember when you're making a swirl filter to have a wider opening at the top for better access to maintenance. Let the bottom half be a lot more deeper so that the solids travel a lot more to the bottom and then you know won't be able to rise up. And the drain out should be extremely at the bottom so that you collect every little uh, you know waste that gets collected trapped in here so thanks for watching guys if you have any suggestions or comments just pop them below and i'll get back to you